Hey yo, and welcome to Fardom. Oh, and by the way, Happy New Year! I know, I know, I'm a bit late to the party. It's already been a week into 2017, but uh, first we do the New Year, so it feels like New Year's to me. I hope everyone's New Year's has been going good, and uh, let's make this an awesome 2017. We're gonna rock it. Hopefully. Okay, so today's story that I'm gonna be telling is known as uh, Hans and his wife Gretel. It does come from Grimm's, I promise. I know more than those uh, stories, but yeah. So Hans and his wife Gretel. Uh, it's um, adventures and misadventures and the mischiefs of uh, this husband and wife couple. And I thought that it was kind of funny when reading it, so I decided to share it. I hope that hilarity comes through in this video. It might not, but hopefully it does. So without further ado, Hans and his wife Gretel. I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, there lived a young lady named Gretel. Kind of like as in Hansel and Gretel, only not the same person. <laughs> okay, so Gretel, a couple of things to know about her. One, she had a pair of red heels. And uh, she always wore them around when she walked. And, uh, you know, she, always, she was a very happy, very merry young lady. Something else to know about her? She was a lover of wine. That was what she did when she came home. She would pour herself a glass, put her feet up, and just relax that way. And the third thing, either she was very clever, or very mean, or very much a liar, but she got herself out of stupid situations that she put herself into. Hopefully she never got fired for what she did in this story. But that's beyond the point. Okay, so one day, um, Gretel goes into work uh, as <laughs> into work at her job as this uh, this private cook for an unspecified master. And uh, that morning, the master told her, "Hey, hey, Gretel, you know I'm having a friend come over. Um, could you make cook some chicken for us to have?" And so she's like, "Yeah, sure." So she goes out to the back um, and gets the chickens ready. You know, prepares the very fresh chickens to be roasted over uh, on a spit over the fire and so she sets to work turning the wheel and uh, turning the spit over the fire so they're nice and evenly roasted and after a couple hours when they're nicely browned and smelling really really tasty she calls her master and, and says hey you know master um these chickens are almost done uh and it's it's really important to enjoy chicken at the right moment so you should probably go get your guests now and so the master is like, okay, um, yeah, I'll, I'll go get my, my guest. So he dashes out uh, to, to find his friend for, her, for his, his, uh, his dinner guest. And uh, Gretel is left alone for a little while. So she's taking care of the, the chickens, making sure they don't burn and are, uh, and are just like, stay perfect the way they are. And Gretel is, uh, begins to decide, man, you know, it's... It's really thirsty work standing over by this fire. Hmm. I'm gonna just go get a glass of wine. Hmm. Treat yourself! Hmm. 2010. Good year. Okay. So, she has the drink, um, and realizes that her master isn't back, and it's been a while. And she's turning her eye to the chicken, and deciding, you know, I should just test to see if this chicken needs anything. So she cocks off one of the wings, eats it, and is like, nope, nope, this chicken is good if I do say so myself. And so she goes on waiting and, and uh, prop, uh, taking care of the chickens and waiting and waiting. She realizes that it's been like another bit of a while and her master still isn't back. So now she's looking at that chicken and realizing you know, a chicken with only one wing looks weird. I might as well just give it some symmetry and cut off this other wing and eat it because it's delicious chicken. So she does that. She uh, cuts off the other wing and uh, keeps keeps the uh, chickens over the fire, keeps them warm. And oh, and this goes on for a lot longer. She may have a couple more drinks before she decides. Oh, you know, what the heck, they're not back yet, and, uh, it's a shame that this chicken isn't being enjoyed by now. They've probably gone into some tavern anyway, so, uh, might as well. And she just gobbles down that wingless chicken. 
So now there's one chicken left. It's not long after that she decides, uh, you know, um, uh, I feel bad for separating those two chickens, uh, where one goes the other must follow, so pretty soon there ain't no chicken left for dinner. And it's not long after she has gobbled down two chickens uh, that her master comes home, rushes in the door, and says, Hey, uh, hey Gretel, I'm sorry I took so long. I was I got caught up with some business. We were having an awesome conversation, um, I guess, tonight. Um, anyway, he's right behind me. I'm gonna go uh, uh, make sure everything is ready for him. Can you please answer, answer the door when he calls? And so he rushes off um, and, and is starting to sharpen his knife to carve the chicken. And Gretel's like, Ooh. Uh, so the guest knocks on the door, um, and Gretel goes to answer it, and she, she tells the guest, Shh, no, no, you don't want to come in here. You should probably run away. I don't know what you did to make my master so mad, but he's super mad at you right now. And he may have invited you over for a chicken dinner, but in fact, he wants to cut off one of your ears because he's so mad at you. Can you hear him sharpening his knife to cut off your ear? And the guest listens. And he's like, Zip! He runs off straight down away from the house as fast as he possibly can. And it's at this moment that Gretel slams the door behind her, behind him and shouts, Master, master, what a terrible thing your guest has done. He's so mean. He made off with both the chickens. He just pushed me to the door and just, just took them. And he ran away. He's running off down the road right now. And the master uh, just uh, sits back for a moment and says, Well, that's not very nice of him. He could have at least left me one chicken for dinner. So he decides uh, that he'll just uh, run after him and, and beg for one of his chickens because he, he really wants chicken that night. So he, uh, he may have forgotten to, to drop his carving knife. So he's running off down the road with his carving knife in hand, shouting, I only want one! Just give me one, please! Damn it, you rascal! And of course, the, the, uh, due to some miscommunication, the, uh, no, the guest is running away as fast as he possibly can. Um, because of course he's thinking, Oh my god, why the heck does this guy want one of my ears? I don't care, I want both my ears, please. And well, you know, I really hope those two made up and like everybody, including Gretel, had a laugh about this entire situation. Because, um, wow, that could have really messed with some friendships. And that's it for, oh wait, no. This actually isn't the end of the video. Yeah, sure, it might be the end of this episode, but it's, there's three parts to this story. So I'm probably going to be doing a triple feature. There's two more parts after this. Completely unrelated, but you still might want to check them out anyway. Still, uh, for this part of it, this <laughs> that, that is the end. I do hope uh, people enjoyed. Uh, I would be interested in knowing what people have to say about this story. Has anyone ever heard it before? Is it new to anyone? Um, yeah, let me know what you thought of it. So, again, check out the other uh, videos that I'm probably going to be posting today. <laughs> and uh, wherever you are, have a good day, have a good night. Anyway, bye!